gear or <laughs> hearing gear or something we're talking we're hearing we're hearing gear you know what maybe that's a new maybe that's a new series name hearing, hearing gear, gear. <laughs> hearing, hearing gear or hear h-e-r-e and -E gear like we, here and now i like it we got options okay i digress this morning we are looking at the friedman be 50 deluxe three channel 50 watt tube head and I can tell you, in an age where um, people, there seems to be small amps are in vogue right now. People are going towards that and kind of a, a little amp. It's sort of refreshing to have just a big, badass, you know, proper head behind you with all these, you know, huge tones. Let me tell you some details on this thing. Um, essentially... What we have here is a three channel amp with a switch right here that gets you between clean, which I came in on. And to me, the clean, and we're just flat right now, and I've got the bright switch on and the fat switch on because I'm in a, a um, with a telly right now. Uh, but where most amps like this or that look like this go wrong is their clean thing is never right. Like, I, um, there are some amps shaped like this that I never get a good clean tone out of. And I think this one is just spanky. This is, again, this is straight in. It's got real clarity to it and just sounds killer. Uh, but, flip this switch right here, and suddenly you're over on this happy little fellow, which is Master One. <laughs> Then flip this happy little fellow right here, and then you've unleashed hell. You know, I've kind of knocked this baby out of tune, so let's try a different guitar just for fun anyway. Uh, that was my telly. This is my 55 Strat. And it might become a little more clear what it does like this. And for the audience, there's no pedals involved? No. No, no delays or reverb or anything? No, no. Well, actually, oh. I do. Um, I did stick this v reverb in the effects uh, loop. And I love that they have an effects loop. Uh, it, but this is an amp that sounds so good. It has such a good tone. You know, you don't really need anything. But then again... Effects are rarely about need, it's more about just fun. So, this is without anything in it. So that's just a straight, a straight, straight in. And then go up on the other channel. Then, again, unleashing hell. Now this amp has perhaps kind of an intimidating front panel here because there's a lot of switches and knobs, but it's relatively easy. Let me show you, I'll just kind of tell you some of the details. 
Uh, the clean channel that I like so much is based on their Buxom Betty amplifier. Uh, the dirty channels are based on the BE and the HBE drive channels with independent gain and master volume control. So right over here, you've got master one, master two, and then over here is your clean uh, volume right there. Um, over here, in this, this section right there, you've got, uh, it's the, the power section. You have thump, which is essentially kind of a low-end resonance. When you play quiet and you turn it up, it's going to give you just a, and we're fairly quiet right now, just going to give you a little more squish. And, but when you're, when you're louder and dirtier, you might want to pull it back a bit. But it's, it's great to have that. Um, the response is a, a variable negative feedback. And down low, again, turn it down, you're kind of squishy and dark. It'll be more clear with a little bit of dirt on that. So down low, you've got a dark squish. Turn that up, and it's going to be more in your face. I mean, what a great tone that is! It's it's uh, it's great to have this kind of tweakability right there at your fingertips. So let's see. Let's get into. So that's the, that's the response. Again, I want to make sure I'm just tweaking the right one. Yeah, the response more in your face. Turn it back and you're squishing. And there's a place for both those sounds. You know? goosed all the way up, but I can see we're having it all the way back would be... I was going to say, I think it, it plays well with the guitar is kind of what you're using. You could dial that knob to where you're at with the guitar. Yeah, you know, that's that's one thing I really like about this amp, too. It seems like you hear the personality of the guitar. You know, um, my criticism with, like, triple rectifiers and things like that is you can plug in a, an old Strat and... And then plug in a PRS or 335 or less Paul after that, and they kind of all sound the same to me. Mm -hmm. You're not really getting a lot of personality, but even overdriven. <laughs> like that is clearly a strap. I mean, you, even with all that dirt and everything on it, you know. Um, presence is what presence is. So. Pretty much the same on every amp. Uh, the Masters, three band EQ for your dirt right here. Uh, gain one and gain two. And as you can see on the on the uh, on the uh, on gain one, I'm just just crank up a little bit, you know. And that to me is. Just that perfect, almost kind of like that Brad Paisley sort of tone, just at least with you know with single coils, just kind of you got a little fur there, but it's not over the top. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a just a great tone. Uh, and then over here we have we have the voices, which are three different three different options there. Let's see what it says about those, or I can just you know how I can use. Flip through and you can see what it does. Yeah. That might, we can talk about this all day long. Well, let's hear this bad boy. Let's hear this bad boy. So here's voice, uh, voice middle voice. Here's the uh, voice to the left. Again, really a great, I don't know how to describe it. We'll taste test. Compressed, I guess. Let's go to this third voice. To 
me, that's that third voice is a little darker. So we overhear our fat switch with it off. You like the third voice or the middle voice the best. And that fat switch, I do like it with, uh, with these single coils. You guys, I say, I think that's again a, a, a way to show your personalities with the guitars you're playing. You yeah. can switch through those, and every time you probably plug in something different, you'll want to change those knobs and those yeah. switches. Yeah, particularly if you're recording. You know, you could. That's a, that's the luxury of recording. You can really tweak and find the tone for the part. Um, in a live application. I think I would probably keep it right where I've got it in the middle fat switch on and basically these settings. So here it is. This is my old 50, um, 54 Les Paul with 390s. Oh man, right? Come That's, on. It's rock and roll. Yeah, that is. And the funny, this guitar actually predates rock and roll, but what a great rock and roll. <laughs> And again, you dial it back, dial back the tone. I'm going to engage this uh, effect switch again. You jack your volume. In fact, let me put on the on the heavy dirty. The variation you get just from your guitar volume is amazing. See why not? Yeah, why not? Now, there's, there's, you know, on the back you've got other things like there's a, there's a saturation knob um, that'll get you just as dirty as you want. There's also a structure section back here, and I'm sorry, there's a lot of things in this amp, and I'm just, this is just a first look, but as you can see right there, loop, saturation, three different options on that, or actually two different options right there, and then structure is three different options. Uh, but man, there's really not a bad sound in this amp. It's, it's, you can't really mess it up. Now here we're in Humbucker Land, if I... Let me just show you what the saturation does. Uh, okay, here we are, and then here we are. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's the one I like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, I mean, there's not like a bad sound. And it's, it's cool that with all these guitars, you do maintain the personality of it. Now let me try these three different structures. Okay, it's on the bottom one right now. Here's the one in between. It's a little tamer. That to me is more like a, kind of reminds me of, of like a plexi sort of, sort of tone. Let me go all the way up. The only voice we haven't heard yet. straight into an amp. I think a lot of our obsession with pedals is that there's a whole lot of amps out there that don't sound, uh, that need a little help. But this one really doesn't need any help, man. You just kind of go straight in. And, and uh, you got three very different tones just with the proprietary switch, those three channels. And then you got an effects loop to add your swirly bits if you want, <laughs> which I do. Mm -hmm. uh, so... <laughs> It's a very, very impressive amp. For the record, I'm running into this valve train 212 cab. It has two, it's at 16 ohms. We do have, of course, a switch on back USB. It gives the option of six, uh, 16, 8, and uh, 4, I guess. Um, we're running at 16 into two Weber speakers. Um, so those are the basics. Um, and I think the price was $3,500. Yeah, $3,500, yeah. So this is a major amp. This is not like a, this isn't for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Some kid with the paper route probably isn't going to get this time any same time soon, but you don't deserve it, kid. Yeah, right. You've got to be a little older. <laughs> you have to kind of earn this thing. Uh, but yeah, it's a very impressive amp. Uh, Chris, what are you coming up this week? What's our rig rundown? I believe it is with Propagande, and oh, yeah. uh, that's Perry's. That's Perry loves that band, so it'll be a good Bede. one. Yeah, Perry Bead. He's been uh, waiting for that day all those years. He's been logging at PG. Finally got it. Yeah, yeah, he got his job at PG just to get close to these guys. <laughs> yeah, it was a great video. That was great. <laughs> it's just a stepping stone. <laughs> uh, so why don't we drum our machine, drum our machine out of this thing, and see what happens? Let's okay. do it. Okay, what we got here? Oh, I like that. 